positive. I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. For somebody would tell me I'm fine. Losing my sight, losing my mind. No, I'm fucking lucky to be alive. I have a severe fucking infection in my urine. That's what's going on. And that can cause you to pee a lot. That can cause a lot of discomfort. It can cause a lot of false positives, too. It can cause a false positive in the blood, too, I found out. Oh, and FYI, I'm not trying to trap anyone. Because, ha, look. I don't care. How is that lying when I had a false positive? Yes, even if you have a tumor down there, it can cause a false positive in the blood test. And then they have to check your ACG levels. So, yeah, that freaking can happen. Apparently, there's a lot of things. And not only that, gross out almost got me freaking committed. And whoever called the hospital, you cut the, you got, you pissed off Kelly. Because Kelly was really worried about me because she was like, you're about to go septic if you're going to die. And I didn't want to believe her. Actually, I did kind of believe her. I just didn't want to deal with it. Okay, I can't find everything in my freaking purse. There's this. Okay, we got these. Okay, we're good. It is raining slight cats and dogs. What the fuck? Here we go. Alright, I'll explain everything. But I had to message my doctors tonight and tell them the same fucking thing. Is everyone so fucking confused? Kelly's gonna help me. Miss me. Said a lot of things can happen. Star told me. Even Star United. There's a lot of women out there that said. Oh yeah. Plus my medications too y'all. And plus other things. I need to get with OBGYN still. Apparently. Apparently they need to uh, fix my hormones. My hormones are crazy. Super crazy. Yeah, apparently that was what Kelly was saying. I mean, the white blood count cells was over 109. It was severe enough that I needed antibiotics in the ER. They wouldn't release me without that. And I don't think I needed... They, I think they did give me twirdle, but I don't remember because they're trying to help with the inflammation and I have red blood cells in my urine. So that's why it was red. So yes, there was a lot of red blood cells too. Just saying, golly, I hate this fucking rain. Okay, let's go. Whee! I have to pee again. And then tomorrow I pick up the antibiotics. This shit's fucking insane. I look stupid. I look fucking ridiculous and stupid. And now I look like a liar. And I'm not a liar. Because I honestly believed I was pregnant. Yeah. I honestly believed I was pregnant. No lie. And to be honest, I don't want to be with Thomas anyways. Actually... I'm relieved I'm not pregnant, actually. Because now I know, like, what to look for, I feel like. Now I know, like... Maybe it's a good... Maybe... It's a good thing I went? Maybe? A severe infection in my urine. Why would I lie about something like that, though? Well, red blood, duh. I, there was a lot of red blood cells that I lost right there. And I just know, gross out was like, get to the fucking doctor now. And then my dad goes, you better go right now or you're going to end up dead. I am feeling a little bit better, so that's good. I'm not as depressed. But 
I still have a lot of doctor's appointments to go to because my hormones are all out of whack. And yes, you can get false blood positives too, apparently. And then they look at your ACG levels to determine if it was a false positive. So yes, I had a false positive. This whole time. I just know they gave me the antibiotics. I had to be put on antibiotics and they they weren't going to let me go home without antibiotics through an IV. That's how serious it was. No, but it's probably why the digital didn't pick up. But I did notice the more tests I was taking, the more my urine went crazy too. And I still have a lot of pressure in the area of my bladder. So yes, it has a lot of the kind of the same symptoms, I guess, when it gets this bad. But I've never got I've never gotten it this bad before. So, but that's not why. But I would never lie about something like that because I didn't know you can get a false blood positive either. Actually, it can be. It's been untreated for quite some time, apparently. My kidney function is working still, so that's good. No, it was going to hit... No, if the urine was infected, it was going to hit the blood. It would have hit the blood if left untreated. Um, not necessarily. Medications can cause it. A lot of things. Prop my... Anything can cause it. Because you have to understand I've been off of birth control for quite some time as well. And I'm used to... And I still don't even have my period, which is weird. But I don't have my period because my body is fucked up right now. My womanhood is fucked up right now. Like, super fucked up. Like, whack-a-doodle down there. Like, I have no STDs or anything like that, but I'm just like, my hormone is very, very crazy. As in, like, the balance. The white blood cell counts of 109 plus, And the red blood cells, a lot. The red blood means it's serious. Yeah, my, my, everything's jacked down there. My bladder is jacked. And then my friend grows. She met, asked them, tell them about the symptoms of the pregnancy and everything. Not, not pee, pregnancy, abortion. She had a tight... She made it into one sentence, and I ended up having to tell the doctor. I was like, "Dude, my friend's about to get me committed if she doesn't if she doesn't proofread her text." This is crazy. Okay, that's right. So yeah, that can make you feel really depressed too. By the way, 
and I probably don't, and yes, I can be irritated and moody with a really bad infection as well. And detached. But on the bright side, I don't have to go through an abortion. So, that's kind of a good thing. On the bright side, next time I can prepare myself better for the right guy, right? Maybe, who knows, maybe God did this so that I would start focusing on my health again, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm actually relieved I'm not pregnant, actually. But I am glad my dad and my friend do care that they want me. They wanted me to go to the ER because it could have gone really bad. Kelly was like, Crystal, if you don't go, you can get septic and you can die. Just saying. I don't know why she said my pee looked green. It did not look green that day. But yeah, so I had a lot of red blood cells count. So that's why the red and brownish color looked like that. And yes, yeah, so I was peeing a lot. But... Oh my god, it's fucking rain. And a lot of y'all think I lie anyways, but I really was not lying about that. It was, they were false positives. Yeah. It was good. No, as in like, no, my pH balance isn't off like that anymore. Yeah, the blood pH. <laughs> 